engine and output characteristics of CE configuration. So far we have learnt about the CE configuration is that CE configuration means common emitter configuration, right? And common emitter configuration means the input signal and output signal has a common terminal that is emitter terminal and the input signal is applied between the base and emitter junction and the output signal which is measured it is between the collector junction and the emitter junction this is what all we know about the C configuration and let's look into how BJT can work as a C amplifier so for a BJT to work as a CE amplifier, we need to have the following following things, I mean the configuration or the connections, whatever it is. And it says the base emitter junction should be forward biased. So the base emitter junction, you can look at here that the base emitter junction should be forward biased it seems and the voltage source VBB, has a it has its positive terminal is being connected towards the to the base junction and the negative part is connected to the emitter junction and on the other hand we have VCC which is the voltage source for the collector junction and the positive terminal of the VCC is being connected to the collector junction and the negative part is being connected to the emitter junction altogether the emitter junction is being at the end it is being grounded that is IE is going towards the ground and the potential difference across the collector junction and emitter junction is given through VCE and the potential difference across base junction and the emitter junction is given through VBE. This is the connections for the particular CE configuration. Let's look into how does this configuration work and the input characteristic for a CE configuration is the VBE potential across that is the input characteristics means the characteristics of the input signal how does an input characteristics that is the input signal works in the particular configuration this is what it says the input characteristics mean so VBE and IB are the input characteristics of the C configuration that is potential across base and emitter is the input characteristic and current applied to the base terminal is the input current of the CE configuration and output characteristics for the CE configuration is the VCE is the potential across the collector and emitter and IC is the current measure at the collector terminal this is what the input and output characteristics for CE configuration is so let us look into the input characteristics of the CE configuration first so the circuit diagram is same for the both input and output characteristics and it's the diagram is just as same as the one which is mentioned earlier but the difference is here we have here it is written in the form of NPN junction way and in the other one it is written in a proper symbolic manner so we know the explanation for VC what is VC VB everything over here let us just directly go to the explanation part so from the diagram it is very clear that VCE equals to VCB plus VBE what is VCB? VCB is the potential difference across the collector junction and the base, jun base junction that is what VCE means so from the diagram it is very evident and very clear that VCE is the sum of it is the sum of VCB and VBE right here we have both the potential difference that is VBC VCB and VBE the summation of these two would give the sum would give the total VCE okay and let us assume that VBE to be constant let's take that VBE as constant and if considering VBE as constant if we keep on increasing VCE obviously VCB also will increase right so that is what this statement says the potential increase across VCB that is collector base junction causes the increase in width of depletion region so if we keep on increasing the 
potential difference or the potential across the VCV region. This would in turn increase the width of depletion region. So depletion region is created due to majority of holes being created which capture the electrons coming from the emitter. So it says that depletion region is created due to the majority of holes being created which capture the electrons coming from the emitter region. So depletion region is something which is created by the holes. We know that the collector, collector junction is being reverse biased. That is, there are holes being created in order to capture the electrons. And these holes will in turn increase the length of the collector region. That is, the increase the length of the depletion region. As the depletion region increases, there will be more room for, to capture the electrons which are coming from the emitter region. That is what the next sentence is. That is, increase in the depletion region reduces the width of base region. We know that base region will be obviously very thin and it becomes even thin, thinner than the earlier stage. That is, it will allow the electrons to escape even easily. Okay. And that is thus allowing the electrons to get easily moved towards the collector region. And since the base collector junction is reverse biased, this again increases the length of depletion. And not only increasing the potential across VCB increases the depletion region length, even the reverse biasing condition will also increase the length of depletion region. So it is overall it is in the favor of increasing the depletion region and increase in the depletion region means there are more holes being created in the collector region and if there are more holes being created in the collector region there will be higher possibilities or higher the the there will be higher probabilities to capture the electrons coming from the electr uh, emitter region and the base region be becomes it keeps on getting thinner by each step so this again increases the length of therefore majority charge carriers are drawn towards the majority charge carriers are drawn towards the collector hence less number of charges are transferred towards the rp since the electron movement or the flow of electrons are favored more favored towards the depletion region we know that so we even know that if there are holes the electrons would obviously go and occupy those spaces, right? So what happens is the electrons which are formed in the emitter region will tend to go and capture these holes which are being created in the collector region rather than going towards the positive part of the VB that is the positive source of the battery. So it's a, hence we say that less number of charges are transferred towards RB that is after RB, it would obviously go inside the positive end of the battery. So the output charges increased due to the reasons mentioned above. Hence, we see the charges being increased. That is output signal. What we measure will be increased due to all the above reasons. What is what I mentioned earlier? That is the potential increase between the VCB that is collector and base region would in turn increase the depletion region length which in turn decreases the length of the base region and which due to which the movement of free electrons from the emitter region towards the collector region will be increased and the second reason is due to the reverse biasing of the collector region the probability of forming or there are there is a high chances not only just high chances it it literally forms majority number of holes in the collector region and the free electrons which are in the emitter region will go and occupy these holes holes which are being created in the collector region and this in turn decreases the tendency of the electrons to move towards the RB or the positive source of the battery that is VB and in turn this again increases the length of depletion region and the output charges or the output signal what we measure will be increased.
and that's all about the input characteristics of the C configuration and here the graph what is measured what it's measured here it says the as the voltage of VCE that is the voltage across the collector and the emitter junction is is increased the and here we have the input characteristics graph the there is a small correction over here in the x-axis it is supposed to be VBE instead of VCE and uh, as you can see that it can be said we can conclude from the graph the graph is very important and the observations made from the graph using that observations we can conclude that as VCE increases VCB that is the potential difference across the collector region and the base region will also increase and as a result the IB will be decreased we know that as VCB increases the depletion region increases the length of the depletion region increases the as the length of the depletion region increases the flow of electrons will be easier that is the majority of holes are being created and the electrons flow towards the collector region will be increased and thus it will in turn reduce the IB that is the flow of charge towards the RB region RB or the VB positive source so the graph shows that the reduced IB and uh, IB reduces as VBE or yeah the VBE value is increased if he, even in this region all, here also the graph shows the reduced IB as reduces as VBE is increased that is supposed to be VBE instead of VCE I'm really sorry for that VCE so this is all about the input characteristics of the CE configuration